Well, good morning on this Tuesday. It is that time of the year to spring clean your health uh, and there's no better place to really start than you. Exactly. And this is some really good stuff. This will get you cleaning uh, your stuff out today. Fox size medical expert Dr. Shafu joins us with six ways on how you can do this. Dr. Shafu, good morning. Good morning, Shelly. I thought about you yesterday when we were talking about doing this segment. I'm like, I got to pay attention because I got this stuff going on in my house right now. Exactly. OK, what can we do first to spring clean? Well, one of the big things uh, to remember is it's important to get your health screening once a year. So things for that we all forget about are things like going to see our dentist, getting our dental mm. appointment set up, screening. This is Skin Cancer Awareness Month. Getting into your dermatologist if there's something going on. Okay. You want to make sure that you get your uh, if you're if you're ready to have a mammogram mm -hmm. or at least thinking about that being done every two to three years. Um, and you want to make sure that if your family doctor, if you're up to date on your immunizations. Those are all important things. Okay. If you're 50 or older, colonoscopy. If you're postmenopausal, you want to get your bone uh, mineral density test. Okay, so that's a good time to think about that. That's yes. step one. Step two, the medicine cabinet. I opened it yesterday. I went, oh right. my gosh, half of this stuff should probably be in the trash. Exactly. And Shannon, the problem is that medicine cabinets are built in bathrooms, which if you think about it, it's the worst place to store medications because Why? it's hot. Oh. Mark temperature and, and also temperature changes and also there's too much moisture. So make sure if you're going to store your medicine somewhere, it needs to be in a dry environment and okay. in a cool environment and a lock cabinet somewhere up high away from your kids. When do, you, when do you know that it's time to throw the vitamins away and the stuff away? Sure. So the things with vitamins is, you know, the FDA does not require an expiration date, but generally speaking, most reputable supplement and vitamin companies will actually have an expiration date. So you want to a year or more after that period of time, they're probably not effective. You need to change them out. You need to change them out. What does it mean to allergy proof your house? So to allergy proof, you know, the big thing that we all deal with in San Diego and elsewhere are dust mites. Very common. The most common place that they're located is in our bedroom. So we want to make sure that every week we're washing all of our linens, especially our bedding. Weekly. Weekly. Okay. 130 to 150 degrees will kill the dust mites. What we want to do is cover our mattresses and pillows with allergy proof or dust proof covers. Okay. And remember the feather pillows yes, and yes. the woolen blankets are a no no. And also our what? kids, uh, you know, stuffed animals. Make sure they're all synthetic materials because dust mites don't live in synthetics. But oh. if you've got feathers and wool and you've got those, you know, your your two children yes, it's like yes, they've yes. got the stuffed animals yeah. that are you can't if you can't put them inside of a washing machine okay. and wash them you need to change them out change them out okay uh, it's also a time to figure out these little things yeah these are real killers unfortunately now these are uh, these are laundry pods and the problem with these uh, shally is um, they can be dissolved with with human saliva and kids yeah, think kids. of these as candy um, we, so we see poisonings with these each year. If they can get, um, they're twice as likely to end up in an emergency room from something like this. So you're better to use powder or liquid. But again, store this as well as all the cleaning items. Right. Not in the sink next to your dishwasher, but way away, away in the cabinet. The kids, the kids okay. can't get to them. These next three things, Dr. Shafu, I think I'm going to have to do today. Uh, let's start with the makeup. You need to purge your makeup. You do. So much makeup in, in women's cabinets are in the very bottom. Again, they're in an area you want to store them in a cool and a dry place. If they're cracked, or their color has been lost, they're probably not effective. And they also can harbor bacteria. Well, what so you can about get a dermatitis. Well, what about that really nice lipstick that's been sitting in the in the cabinet? Like, did, after a year? Is after it a year, it needs to go and get a new one again. I exactly. swear I'm going to wear it one of these days. <laughs> okay, toothpaste, when so, does this go in the so garbage? So this will expire at about a year or so after it's been manufactured. Okay. Problem is it loses its fluoride potency. So check the expiration dates on those. We oftentimes will buy them in bulk and leave them sitting in yes, the back of the cabinet, yes, right? Until yeah. it's time to pull it out. Okay. So you want to be careful to look at the data and on that. And finally, ew. And this is a big culprit. We all have these in our chick our kitchen. They're sitting there, they're moist. The problem is that they harbor bacteria yeah. like E. coli and yeah. salmonella, which cause food poisoning. So what what you what a lot of people will do yes. is, well, I just put it on a hot water, I'll throw it in the dishwasher. Yeah. The problem is it doesn't get hot enough. Okay. So what there are a couple of things you can do. One is you can take put a cup of hot water, yes. half a cup of, of white vinegar, okay. three uh, tablespoons of salt and soak this overnight. Okay. Other thing you can do is get it real moist and stick it in the microwave for a couple of minutes, but stay there. Okay. Make sure if it starts yeah. to smell or, or you want to do Or how about just buy that. a new one? <laughs> and certainly buying a new one. Yeah, if you that can, works. Course. Dr. Shafu, uh, thank you for being here. Thanks, really Shelley. good tips. I have some cleaning to do. I, when are we going to do it? When are we going to do it? <laughs> Raul? When are you going to do it? When are you going to do it? You're just going to hire somebody. <laughs>